Health Smarts While You Wait began as a collaboration between New York Methodist Hospital and the Adult Literacy Media Alliance. Our goal was to close the gap between medical information that patients received, their ability to understand it, and to act upon it. Health Smarts While You Wait was created because 50% of Americans read at or below an 8th grade reading level. Most medical information is delivered at a college level. This is a huge disconnect. Our volunteers provide information to about 200 patients a week for the last six years. That's pretty impressive. And the patients are demonstrating that they are learning from these presentations. Um, we did pre and post test evaluations. What's really great is the effect of the program on the volunteers. They come back to my office after a shift and say, wow, I really made a difference. Patients really learned something today. So the main problem the step-by-step -step addresses is um, finding children who have developmental delays and teaching parents about um, what their children should be doing at each step of their development so that they um, know that their child is on track and growing and achieving how they should. So we have volunteers work with parents one-on-one, -on -one, parents who have children that are 9 to 30 months, and they go over milestone checklists to see that the child is achieving the milestones that they're supposed to at each age. They talk with the parents about how their child is growing and developing and they ask the parents if they have any questions for the doctors. At the end of the day, the parents are learning new skills, the children are getting the help they need, and the volunteers feel like they're really making a difference. I'm just thrilled with this program. We created CHF VIP Volunteer Interventional Program, where volunteers are trained in health literary techniques to ensure patients have the correct information at discharge to make changes at home. The program was created to reduce the readmission rates for patients with congestive heart failure within 30 days. So the program has been successful. Volunteers definitely have a more enhanced experience talking with patients by the bedside and the patients themselves feel more cared for um, both at home and here in the hospital. I want to thank New York Methodist Hospital for all its encouragement and support and my staff who really made these programs work. AHVRP, thank you for honoring us with the extraordinary award this year. We're very grateful. Mm -hmm.